సారీ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ సిక్స్ లేదు ఓన్లీ ఫైవ్ క్వశ్చన్ చిన్న క్వశ్చన్స్ కాబట్టి ఐదు వేలు క్లోజ్ చేసాము ఓకేనా ఇప్పుడు నెక్స్ట్ ప్యాసేజ్ తీసుకుంటున్నాము ఈ ప్యాసేజ్ ఇంకొక సైంటిస్ట్ యునో హూ ఇస్ దిస్ నోబెల్ ప్రైజ్ విన్నర్ మేరీ క్యూరీ మనం చిన్నప్పుడు పెద్ద ఎత్తున మాట్లాడుకున్నాం సో ఇంకొకసారి మళ్ళీ ఒకసారి మాట్లాడుకుందాం ఓకేనా So let us read the passage. Mary Curie was born on November 7, 1867 as the youngest of the five children. I think in the law, you would a chinna wouldn't chinna pila. So fine. In 1891, Curie moved to France and lodged with her sister while studying physics and uh, uh, math at Sorbonne University in Paris. She met her future husband, Pierre Curie in 1894 and married him uh, a year later. later both the curies then began work trying to uncover the mysteries of physics among most mind boggling particles all right the curies worked at the school of chemistry and physics in paris and uh, you see that began researching uh, the invisible rays given off by an element called uranium Mary Curie collected samples of a mineral called ama pitch blend and discovered h uh, discovered h gave off more rays than did uranium alone she hypothesized that pitch blend was made of more than just uranium and began trying to separate its different contents eventually she and her husband were able to isolate new element called polonium one that was 330 times more radioactive than uranium all right ever after extracting polonium mary curie still noticed a radioactive liquid that remained in the composition of pitch blend and decided to study it further she and her husband published a paper theorizing about the existence of this new element in 1898 calling the element radium but they still needed to find some concrete proof to do so curie curie purchased huge amounts of pitch blend with the uranium you see that with the uranium already removed a highly radioactive substance that had negative effects on her and her husband's health after years of research and extraction mary and pierre curie proved radium's existence in 1902 both of them won the nobel prize for physics in 1903 due to their hard work in 1906 pierre curie died in a horse cart horse and cart accident mary curie continued all right with her work uh, in world war 1 she helped to create uh portable x-ray units that were used to diagnose injuries uh, on the battlefield by 1914 her machines known as petis curies uh, were being transported to the front lines of the battles along with mary herself all right the technology used in the petis curies is similar to what we use in modern day uh, all right fluoroscopy machines that examine moving images in the body such as beating heart mary curie died in 1934 due to the medical condition developed after years of radiation exposure uh, at age 66 but not before leaving a significant impact on the science world uh, she was the first woman to win the nobel prize physics in physics and the first person to receive two nobel prizes one in physics and another one in chemistry in 1911 she made large strides in the fields of science as a smart talented and powerful woman see that this much you have to read compulsory yeah some students may think that uh, sir what is this are there are there uh, not any shortcuts so actually i suggest you don't look for the shortcuts for some time you improve your reading skills you read fast see almost it has taken 5 minutes not more than that కదా సో కాబట్టి మీరు కూడా ఈ ఫైవ్ మినిట్ ని ఇంకా కుదించవచ్చు నేను ఫాస్ట్ గా చదవచ్చు మనం ఈ మేరీ క్యూరీ గురించి తెలిస్తే ఇంకా ఫాస్ట్ గా మనం చేయొచ్చు నాట్ బిగ్ జీల్ సో ఒకవేళ తెలుగుని ప్యాసేజ్ ఇస్తే ఫైవ్ మినిట్స్ కన్నా ఎక్కువ తీసుకోకూడదు ఫైవ్ మినిట్స్ లోనే మనం కట్ చేయాలి ప్యాసేజ్ అంతకన్నా ఎక్కువ తీసుకోవడానికి ప్రయత్నం చేయొద్దు అనేది నా యొక్క ఇంటెన్షన్ ఇక్కడ ఓక
సో కాబట్టి ఈ విధంగా మీరు చదవాల్సిందే ఇక్కడ తప్పదు దీనికి నో షార్ట్ కట్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు జస్ట్ ఇంప్రూవ్ యూర్ రీడింగ్ స్కిల్స్ దట్స్ ఓన్లీ ద వే వీ హ్యావ్ ఓకేనా నో లెట్స్ టేక్ అప్ ద క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ వన్ తీసుకోవడం విచ్ ఆర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ డిడ్ మేరీ అండ్ పియరీ క్యూరీ నాట్ డిస్కవర్ కింద ఇచ్చినటువంటి వాటిలో ఏది డిస్కస్ డిస్కవర్ చేయలేదు అంటాడు రైట్ చూడమ్మా దే డిస్కవర్డ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ ది అబౌ అంటే బిలో పొలోనియం ఎస్ దే డిస్కవర్డ్ రేడియం ఎస్ యురేనియం వాళ్ళ గురించి మాట్లాడమ్మా రేడియం పొలోనియం గురించి మాట్లాడేరు కానీ యురేనియం గురించి మాట్లాడలేదు సో కాబట్టి మనకు అడిగినటువంటి క్వశ్చన్ ఏందమ్మా నాట్ డిస్కవర్ అని అడిగినటువంటి క్వశ్చన్ ఇది ఇక్కడ సో కాబట్టి వీ హ్యావ్ టు కన్ఫర్మ్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ యురేనియం నాట్ పొలోనియం ఆర్ అమ్మా రేడియం దట్స్ ఫైన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ విచ్ ఇక్కడ యూ సి దిస్ సో మేరీ క్యూరీస్ ఎక్స్రే యూనిట్స్ వర్ నోన్ యాస్ అమ్మా పెటిట్స్ క్యూరీస్ ద ఫ్రెంచ్ ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ ఆఫ్ పెటిట్స్ ఈ స్మాల్ చిన్నది అని మీనింగ్ అంట పెట్ 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 డాగ్ అంటాం కదా ఆ విధంగా చూపించుకోండి సో గివెన్ దిస్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఇన్ ఫర్ Why Curie's machines received this name? Why did the machines appear in the name? So to point out their microscopic size, what do you mean? To highlight their portability, portability means carryable, carryable, most of the people who are in the world are in the world, portability means portability. In the first world war, most of the people are in the world, here is the government, most of the people are in the world. to emphasize their significant insignificance no insignificance radamma to dismiss their value kuda radu so ee vidhanga man answer confirm cheskunte to highlight their portability portability and just like carryable an manam teeskuntam but most kella gala vidham ayina 20 amsham an teeskuntam ee vidhanga so kabatti answer is confirmation b for bangalore okay na and the next question number third so which of the following statements about mary curie uh, is supported by the article ఏనా సో కింద ఇచ్చినటువంటి పాయింట్స్ ఏంటి అంటాడు సో షీ పర్సిస్టెడ్ టువర్డ్ సైంటిఫిక్ డిస్కవరీ డిస్పైట్ పొటెన్షియల్ డేంజర్ టు హర్ హెల్త్ ఎస్ దెర్ ఈస్ అ పాసిబిలిటీ అంటే ఆవిడ ఆరోగ్యానికి ప్రమాదకరంగా ఉన్నాయి అన్న విషయాన్ని కూడా పట్టించుకోకుండా ఆవిడ సైంటిఫిక్ డిస్కవరీ చేయడం జరిగింది ఈ పొలోనియం యురేనియం ని కనుక్కోవడం జరిగింది షీ వాంట్స్ ద ఓల్డెస్ట్ చైల్డ్ ఇన్ హర్ ఫ్యామిలీ అండ్ దర్స్ హెడ్ యాక్సెస్ బెటర్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ నో దీని గురించి ఇక్కడ చెప్పలేదు ఇది ఎక్కడ చెప్పలేదమ్మా జస్ట్ కట్ నెక్స్ట్ షీ కుడ్ నాట్ బేర్ టు కంటిన్యూ హర్ సైంటిఫిక్ వర్క్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద డెత్ ఆఫ్ హర్ హస్బెండ్ నో 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 ఆ హస్బెండ్ డెత్ అయినాక తర్వాత కూడా ఆమె కంటిన్యూ చేశారు కాబట్టి తప్పు నెక్స్ట్ షీ వాజ్ నెవర్ ప్రాపర్లీ హానర్డ్ ఫర్ హర్ అడ్వాన్సెస్ ఇన్ ఫిజిక్స్ అండ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ నో 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 రెండు సార్లు నోబుల్ పోయి రావడం జరిగింది షీ వాజ్ ఆనర్డ్ సో కాబట్టి హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు స్టిక్ టు ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ కన్ఫర్మేషన్ నెంబర్ వన్ గా తీసుకోవడం జరిగింది ఆమె హెల్త్ ను పట్టించుకోకుండా కూడా ఆమె ఆ యొక్క సైంటిఫిక్ అడ్వాన్స్మెంట్ చేయడం జరిగింది సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు కన్ఫర్మ్ ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ ఎఫర్ హ్యాపీ అండ్ దెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ ఫోర్ అ సైంటిస్ట్ వాంట్స్ టు లర్న్ మోర్ అబౌట్ ప్రొసీజర్స్ మేరీ అండ్ పియరీ క్యూరీ యూస్డ్ యూస్డ్ టు డిస్కవర్ రేడియం అండ్ పోలోనియం విచ్ రిసోర్స్ వుడ్ బి ద బెస్ట్ ఫర్ హర్ టు కన్సల్ట్ అమ్మా అ బయోగ్రఫీ ఆఫ్ మేరీ క్యూరీస్ లైఫ్ uh there is a possibility a letter mary curie wrote to her siblings while studying uh, at the sorbonne mary curie's diary detailing her relationship with pierre mary curie's lab notebook containing notes from her time at the school of chemistry and physics so this is actually the point your din nunchi manam answer anedi confirm cheyadam jarugutundi remaining answers are not fixing or suiting well we question antha maindi kada a scientist wants to learn more about procedures adi vastavamo mary and pierre curie used to discover radium and polonium which resource would be the best for her to consult ante avida chinna pad nunche school lo chadutunna pad nunche aa physics chemistry padla ekko makku toti ee vela ee polonium and i mean ee oka radium ni kanukodam jarigindi ani cheptunnadu ani sandarbham so kabatti answer is confirmation d ga teeskodam jarigindi ఓకే నా ఆ యొక్క స్కూలింగ్ టైమ్ లో అమ్మా నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ పుట్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఈవెంట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ మేరీ క్యూరీస్ లైఫ్ ఇన్ అండ్ ఆర్డర్ అంటున్నాడు చూడమ్మా క్యూరీస్ పెటిట్స్ క్యూరీస్ ఆర్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టెడ్ టు ద ఫ్రంట్ లైన్స్ క్యూరీ విన్స్ ఆర్ నోబుల్ ప్రైజ్ ఫర్ హర్ కెమిస్ట్రీ రైట్ క్యూరీ ప్రూవ్ రేడియమ్స్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఎస్ ఆవిడ ప్రూవ్ చేశారు ఆ తర్వాత నోబుల్ ప్రైజ్ వచ్చింది క్యూరీ స్టడీస్ ఎట్ ద సోర్బాన్ యూనివర్సిటీ అని చెప్పాడు సో ఫైన్ ఫస్ట్ స్టడీస్ చదువుకున్నారు ఆ తర్వాత ఆవిడ ఎస్ 
రేడియం ఉందని చెప్పారు ఆ తర్వాత నోబుల్ ప్రైజ్ వచ్చిందమ్మా సో ఆ తర్వాత ఏమా నెక్స్ట్ ఏమైంది క్యూరిస్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టెడ్ అది ఏదైతే కనుక్కున్నారో వాళ్ళు ఫస్ట్ వరల్డ్ వార్ లో ఉపయోగించారని చెప్తున్నారు ఈ విధంగా సో ఫైన్ సో ఇక్కడ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఫోర్ త్రీ టూ వన్ అని రావాలి ఎక్కడ ఉంది ఆప్షన్ మనకు ఫోర్ వన్ ఇచ్చాడు ఫోర్ వన్ ఇచ్చాడు తీసుకునే అవకాశం ఉంది కానీ తప్పు సో ఫైనల్ గా ఫోర్ త్రీ టూ ఉంది ఇక వన్ లేదుగా సో నో ప్రాబ్లం జస్ట్ లీవ్ ఇట్ ఫోర్ త్రీ టూ ఉందిగా సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు కన్ఫర్మ్ ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ నెంబర్ సి చెన్నై ఇట్లా తీసుకోవడం జరిగింది ఇట్లా చేసుకోవాలి ఓకేనా సో ఈ విధంగా మేరీ క్యూరీ గురించినటువంటి ప్యాసేజ్ మనం నేర్చుకోవడం జరిగింది ఇక్కడ ఓకేనా సో లెట్స్ టేక్ అప్ ద నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ నెక్స్ట్ ప్యాసేజ్ తీసుకుందాం క్లారిటీ వచ్చే అవకాశం ఉంటుంది రైట్ కాంప్రహెన్షన్ ప్యాసేజ్ నెంబర్ ఫోర్త్ ఇది ఎవరి గురించి ఇచ్చాడు గీజా పిరమిడ్ గురించి మీకు తెలుసు కదా పిరమిడ్స్ ద గ్రేట్ పిరమిడ్ అట్ గీజా ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద వరల్డ్స్ మోస్ట్ అమేజింగ్ ల్యాండ్ మార్క్స్ సో రైజింగ్ హై అబౌ ది సహారా డిజిట్ ఇన్ ద గీజా రీజియన్ ఆఫ్ నార్దర్న్ ఈజిప్ట్ ద గ్రేట్ పిరమిడ్ స్టాండ్స్ సమ్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫీట్ ఇన్ టు ద burning desert sky and occupies an area of 13 acres the rough climate of the sahara has actually caused the pyramid to shrink 30 feet uh, from its original height the pyramid was such an amazing uh, feat uh, of engineering that it remained sorry remained the tallest structure in the world uh, for over 3800 years dadapu 3800 samvatsaral nunchi అది టాల్ స్ట్రక్చర్ గా ఉందంట సో ద ఎంటైర్ పిరమిడ్ వాజ్ ఒరిజినల్లీ ఫేస్డ్ విత్ పాలిష్డ్ లైమ్ స్టోన్ టు మేక్ ఇట్ షైన్ బ్రిలియంట్లీ ఇన్ ద సన్ నెక్స్ట్ మోస్ట్ ఈజిప్టాలజిస్ట్ సైంటిస్ట్ హూ స్టడీ ఆన్షియంట్ ఈజిప్ట్ అగ్రీ దాట్ ద గ్రేట్ పిరమిడ్ వాజ్ బిల్ట్ అరౌండ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ సిక్స్టీ బీసీ ఆ లిటిల్ మోర్ దెన్ ఫైవ్ ఫోర్ థౌసండ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ ఇయర్స్ ఎ గో Uh, it took tens of thousands of workers 20 years to build the pyramid contains over 2 million stone blocks although most of the blocks weigh 2 or 3 tons some weigh up to 80 tons 80 tonnula baru unnatuvanti raallu kuda vallandulo upayogincharanta so the great pyramid of giza was ordered built by the pharaoh khufu as magnificent tom his wiser that means advisor or minister uh you see that haimon is credited with being the pyramids architect so khufu's uh you know pyramid uh, is actually part of a complex of pyramids uh that includes the pyramid of khafri the smaller pyramid of manakur a variety of smaller pyramids and structures the great sphinx The Great Pyramid of Giza is the last remaining of the seven wonders of the world. So, these points are also clear. So, where is the Great Pyramid? Great Pyramid is not located in Nadu. Sahara Desert is not located in the answer. Northern Egypt is not located in the Giza place. So, only in Southern Egypt is not located. So, we have to confirm answer is different. నార్తన్ ఈజిప్ట్ లో ఉంది కానీ సదరన్ ఈజిప్ట్ లో లేదు సో కాబట్టి ఆన్సర్ అనేది నాట్ లొకేటెడ్ అన్నాడుగా సో కాబట్టి ఆన్సర్ అనేది డి గా తీసుకోవడం జరిగింది నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ హౌ మెనీ స్టోన్ బ్లాక్స్ మేక్ అప్ ద పిరమిడ్ ఫోర్ థౌసండ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ త్రీ ఆర్ మోర్ దెన్ టూ మిలియన్ స్టోన్ బ్లాక్స్ కాబట్టి హండ్రెడ్ ఆన్సర్ అనేది సి గా తీసుకోవడం జరిగింది ఓకేనా అండ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ త్రీ so the pharaoh ordered the pyramid to build as his tomb first of all as his tomb anedu undama so evaru a pharaoh evaru ante khufu khufu kabatti khufu and tomb are the red options kabatti adi a lo undi we have to mark answer is a parallel ga teesukodam jarigindi itla okay na and the next question number 4 right which of the following definitions best describes the meaning of the complex uh, uh, in the passage complex means very difficult right army no pyramid no materials no group or set amma complex ante kontha mandi group ledha kontha mandi set ante oka oka prantham lo unna atuvanti vallu ani meaning vastadi dattamai na atuvanti ani meaning vastadi so group or set is the reduction choice we have confirmed answer is a parallel And the next question, which of the following is false? 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 Which of the following is false?
Khufu was uh, Haman's wager and architect. Uh, yes, uh, sorry, sorry. Haman, Haman was Khufu's wager and architect. Uh, you see that the Great Pyramid is the last of the seven wonders of the world. Yes, it is correct. Covered our wrong answer. Next, the pyramid took tens of thousands of workers about 20 years to complete. Yes, it is the correct option choice. Just cut. See that Khufu was the Haman's wizard and Nadu. Haman was the Khufu's wizard and Nadu. So, the second option is second option. Correct. General ka Haman and Nadu is Khufu's wizard and Mantri, the architect. So, Kabati, you got a first answer. Manako, false each other. So, we have to confirm answer is a per apple ka. This quarter, Jerigindi. So, E. Vidanga, Manam, Yoka, pyramids, someone should put a passage to Chedam, Jerigindi. So, a passage put on to the Avagahana Patla, Manam, answer and chase quarter and Jerigutundi. Okay, now. So, next passage, this one, be ready. Passage number five. So, the very green chicha do and a Eratosthenes and a Oka mathematician Gurinchi, Ibadam, Jerigindi. So, Eratosthenes was a librarian, Athanaka, librarian and a poet, mathematician, and astronomer too. So, he was born in a Greek colony called Cyrene, uh, located in modern day Libya. He put Libya and a Prantham Rathan in 276 BC. Tarata, when he was 40 years old, he became the chief librarian of the Library of Alexandria. An enormous respiratory of, uh, I'm sorry, respiratory repository, repository of information from a myriad of locations and intellects. He continued collecting information throughout his lifetime and eventually contributed some findings of his own. Next, Eratosthenes is credited with inventing the field of geography and developed the first system of latitude and longitude for plotting precise locations on earth. So, in his system, it was possible to estimate the distance from any known points on earth at the time. So, he also calculated the angle of earth's tilt and documented a catalog of 675 stars. He is a sieve known today in math classrooms as the sieve of Eratosthenes is a method to quickly and efficiently find prime numbers in the sieve and a table a table of numbers and number so in the sieve a list of consecutive integers is generated starting with 2 and ending with any number n after 2 every second number of the list is crossed out even numbers that means especially even numbers next since the next number is 3 Every third number is crossed out, right. In the next step, 4 is crossed out, alright, but 5 is next. So, every fifth number is crossed out. As the pattern continues, composite and non-prime numbers, as the pattern continues, that means composite with the non-prime numbers. Composite numbers are crossed out, prime numbers such as uh, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 17 onwards are left behind. Eratosthenes most important contribution may have been his calculation of earth circumference using geometry and trigonometry. Eratosthenes noticed that at noon on the summer solstice in an Egyptian well, the sun's rays shone directly into the well and lit up the water. Alright, meaning that at that day and time, the sun was right above the well. He then put up a tall pole in Alexandria, uh, in Alexandria that cast a shadow on the summer solstice, meaning that the sun was positioned slightly south from the pole. All right. So, after the measuring the distance between the well and the pole, and taking into account Earth's spherical nature. Eratosthenes measured the angle of sun's rays on the day of the solstice related that in a proportion to the circumference of the earth. His calculation while not totally airtight yielded a high degree of accuracy. The same calculations performed today with accurate data result in circumference of the earth measuring only 66 kilometers or off from its actual accepted circumference. Eratosthenes died at the age of 82, 
although most of his original writings have been lost to history. We do have evidence of his mathematical work and astronomical findings which are highly relevant in both fields today. So this is all about Eratosthenes Gurinchi Chepinatuvanti Amshamma. So let us take the questions first so that we can get the clarity. Which of the following is omitted from the passage? In the Chepinatuvanti Vatlalo, Yevi Pakkarita Badindi Antidu. Information about his contributions to mathematics? Yes, it is there, not omitted. Information about his contributions to the field of geography? Yes, it is there. Information about childhood of uh, Eratosthenes? Yes, it is there. Information about what Eratos, I am sorry, information about what Eratosthenes job in Alexandria? Yes, it is also there. So, general ga, e mood in tikurinchi undi di koncham doubt ga undama. Information about the childhood of Eratosthenes. So, we have to confirm answer is C for Chennai. Okay, na? so next point is Kunte. So, what does repository mean in the following sentence? When he was 40 years old, he became the chief librarian of the library of Alexandria, an enormous repository of information for from a myriad of locations and intellects. So, Mira, Ikadichin 20, enormous repository. At a meaning in the ma, a place where things are stored. An enormous repository and akada anni uh peta badinavi, anni uncha badinavi and mana meaning is good to nangabati. So we have to stick to a place where things are stored. Anna Visham Tis Kunde answer and see for Chenaga confirm chase code and check in the kana. Okay na. So the next point one this kunte, point number third ga. Which of the following is best describes how the sieve of Eratosthenes works? You know the sieve is there, no? the table, numbers table. See that multiples of composite numbers are used to filter out prime numbers. See multiples of prime numbers are used to filter out composite numbers. See as it is Manako, Ibadan Jarigindi, passage Chivarlo. So, Oksarekartis Kunte, we clarity also the, let us see the passage once so that you will be given the Full clarity. You see this. Last person. As the pattern continues, composite numbers, composite numbers are crossed out, and prime numbers, uh, prime numbers are left. So, until the notice in the general ka, composite numbers are crossed out. Multiple of multiples of composite numbers are crossed are used to filter out prime numbers. Multiples of prime numbers are used to filter out composite numbers. So, the answer is confirmation. B ga this kodam jaragutundila. Okay, na? as it is has been given in the passage. And the next point, this which of the following is true about the sieve of Eratosthenes? It starts with 2 and ends in 100. No, it starts with 2 and ends in n numbers and chepadan jargutundi. So, we have to confirm answer is d for deliga this kodam jargutundi. It starts with the 2 and ends in n numbers and n number of time flow manamo prime numbers ni baiti ke lagachu. So, kabati answer is confirmation d for deliga this kodam jargutundi avakasham undi. Alright. The next point, my number 5. So, in which of the following textbooks would you expect to learn about erat of things? That the new world, how the discovery ancient or uh, text influenced the progress? No, it has not been given at least. Next, the sun, the moon, and the stars, a beginner's guide to understand, uh, beginner's guide to uh, understanding space. No, this also has not been told. Just cut. Greek history, the rise and fall of an incredible empire. So, Greek history. Next, early progress, how Greek mathematicians used advanced math to understand properties of earth. So, it is there as it is Eratosthenes, Tepadakuda. So, Kabati, we have to confirm answer is number 5. This kodam jarigutundi. So, e vidanga, Eratosthenes and Tevaru, Athari Gurunchi, Aim Chapadan jarigindi, and any points kuda, Mana Matar kodam jarigindi kada. Alright, so let us take the next passage. Be ready, guys. So, e passage which is Manaki. Okay, disease good in children jargon, scurvy and a disease good in Kuda, Manathelsu, vitamin C, uh, Lopum Valla, you can disease and a general ga, Mananchus Tauntum. So, scurvy is a horrible disease that results from an acute lack of vitamin C over time. 
So, vitamin C is most commonly found in fruits and vegetables. During the age of exploration, sailors uh, on long ocean voyages often contracted uh, scurvy. As food supplies quickly spoiled, reducing diets to salted beef, though in many cases fresh meat has enough vitamin C to prevent or cure scurvy. Fresh meat low unta than vitamin C. Fine. Dried grains and in desperate situations, anything that could be eaten. Sailors during this time believed scurvy was caused by a wide range of potential culprits, including uh, you know putrid air rising from swamps. So the idea that disease uh, the disease was caused by a lack of vitamin C was not confirmed until 1932. Right. According to some estimates, scurvy accounted for the deaths of over 2 million soldiers during the age of exploration. Sailors with scurvy would first experience weeks of malaise or fatigue. Uh, as the disease worsened, bone and joint pain intensified, uh, sailors would develop sores that failed to heal. Uh, in latter stages, gums would swell, teeth would fall out and so, these are all the problems that cause, uh, that are by uh, scurvy. Uh, mental changes such as agitation and confusion would manifest. In its final stages, scurvy would result in the swelling of various parts of the body, uh, convulsions and organ failure. Even in its latter stages, the efforts, sorry, the effects of scurvy could be reversed in if vitamin C was introduced. Okay, na. So, call vitamin C this code of model perte, adi seta uddi and chabutuna twenty, Sandra Pamekana. Okay, na. So, next, during the age of exploration, sailors believed scurvy was caused by spoiled meat. No. Sailors believed scurvy was caused by lack of vitamin C. Yes, it is the correct option choice. Sailors, you know, sailors believed scurvy was caused by uh, air over. Uh, achha, achha. During the age of exploration, sailors believed that Say, I mean, scurvy was caused by air over swamps. So, there is a possibility of taking this option C compared to B. Uh, C is the suitable one. Uh, so, we have to confirm answer is C question 9. Okay, na? And next question number 2. The cause of scurvy was discovered. The cause of scurvy was discovered uh, in desperate situations before the age of exploration, after the age of exploration, during the age of exploration. You see that. And this curvy is a good thing. And generally, after the age of exploration, and the exploration chasing Taruata and meaning was the general. Before rather, during rather, general. In desperate situations, after the age of uh, exploration, meaning was the so, Kabati answer C ga and confirm chase kodan jerigindi. Next question number third. Which was not a symptom of scurvy? Confusion, yes. Joint pains, yes. Sores throughout the body, yes. And sneezing and coughing has not been given anywhere. So, we have to confirm answer is deferred eliga. This kodan jerigindi. Next. In its final stages, scurvy. Uh, scurvy can be reversed without vitamin C? No. Scurvy can be reversed with vitamin C, yes. Scurvy can be reversed with medicine, no. Scurvy cannot be reversed. So, we have to confirm answer is uh, B ga confirm chase code and jargutundi. Scurvy can be reversed with vitamin C. E vidanga answer this kuna 20. Avakasham do. Call vitamin C this kuna. Scurvy mali automatically set type odi and So, kabati answer is confirmation B. Okay na. And the next question number 5. You see this. What does intensified mean in the following sentence? As the disease worsened, bone and joint pain intensified and sailors would develop sores that failed to heal. So, intensified means become worst or become worse. So, they could only obviously be low on the cover We have to confirm answer is B for Bangalore ga this kodam jarigindila. And that become worse. In conjum, very bad hypothi and a chabutuna to one is under one gavati. So we have confirmed answer is became worse. Okay. And next question, let us take the one next passage.
right comprehension passage number 7 you see that transactional analysis has the triangle of pac what is this pac let us come to know right uh, p means parent a means adult all right c means child these are your three layers as if you are a three storied building like mudu antasthala bhavanam laga mana lopala ee muggur untaranta who are they ma parent adult adu vidhanga child p a c the first floor is that of the child the second floor is that of the parent and the third floor is that of the adult first parents tarvata the child and tarvata the adult untaranta mana body lo all three exist together mugulu oka degare untaru this is your inner triangle of triangle and conflict. This is a triangle or you go to a poor the minute one day. I'm your child says one thing, your parent says something else and your adult uh, rational mind says something else. The child says enjoy for the child. This moment is the only moment. He has no other considerations. I think that pillow word man choose to the general and a manalo pala on a 20 pillow word every two narrow. I think very I'm shall leave you know. Enjoyment of the path. Yes, correct. And uh, yes, uh, some uh, you see that the child says enjoy. For the child, this is the moment. On uh, I mean, this moment is the only moment. He has no other considerations. The child is spontaneous, but unaware of the consequences, unaware of past, unaware of future. He lives in the moment. He enjoys, but this enjoyment is not creative, cannot be creative. He delights, but his life cannot be lived only uh, throughout delight. So, you cannot remain a child forever. You will have to learn many things because you are not alone here. Because you have to learn many things. Right. So the child has to be the child has to be disciplined and that's where the parent comes in appudu nunchi parent ane oka paatra manaloki aavahistundanta ah next point vachesi chudama the parental voice in you is the voice of the society culture civilization the voice that makes you capable of living in a world where you are not alone all right where there are many individuals with conflicting ambitions. You see that. So, where there is much struggle for survival, where there is much conflict, all right. So, the parental voice is that of caution. So, it makes you civilized. The word civil is good. It means one who has become capable of living in a city, who has become capable of being a member of a group, or a, of a society it is needed and then uh, you see that and then there is a third voice within you uh, the third layer when you have become adult and you are no longer controlled by your parents all right your own reason has come of age you can think on your own and these three layers are continuously fighting the child says one thing the parent says just the opposite and the reason may uh, say something totally different. There is no necessity that your adult uh, mind agrees with your parents. Many times you find them very dogmatic, sir, uh, I'm sorry, superstitious, believing in foolish things, irrational ideologies. Your parent says do it, your adult says it is not worth doing and your child goes on pulling you somewhere else. This is the triangle within you. Yes, this is the possibility so that we have read already. So, let us take the first question so that we understand well. So, whom do we find dogmatic many times? Of course, parent we have found, child we have found, adult also we have found. So, Kamati, the first question given an answer of all of these and the correct is Kodam Jerguthundi. And next question number two. What is the triangle within us? Manalo not when triangle in the entered. Asala Padam in the what I do and in the point. See, we are like a three-storied building where in the first floor is of the child, the second floor is of that the parent, and the third floor is of the adult. Fine. The child is spontaneous, 
the parental voice is that of a caution and the adult has himself uh, come of an age. Whenever you want to do something, your parent says do it, your adult says it is not worth doing and your child goes on pulling somewhere else. So, Kabati, of course, it is Manako example each other 20 sentences. So, it triangle and a Ardhaniki correct ka suta ya option matram si gane this kodam jerguthundi kada. See general ka. So, Kabati, we have to confirm answer is equal chane. Whenever you want to do something, so it like itla possibility unto the child itla unto the manalo parent itla unto the manalo unto the adult itla unto the anichabutuna twenty sandarbu. So, we have to confirm answer is equal chane. All right. And the next question number 3, right, why you cannot, question number 3, why you cannot remain a child forever, because you are not alone here, obviously, because you have to become a pa parent, no, because you have to be disciplined, no, because you have to become a capable of living in a city, no, so because you are not alone, that is why, because you are not child or a child forever, answer is, a for apple is confirmed. Next question number 4. What happens when you become an adult? Alright, being an adult gives us a vision and a vision. Being an adult, we are no longer controlled by our parents. Obviously, there is a possibility. This is the answer compulsory. If we are adult, we are not the parents. Yes, the correct answer is confirmation B. Next, according to the passage, you are not capable of being a member of group of a society until you become a parent, civil, dogmatic, or, uh, I mean, uh, or, uh, I mean, audacious. So, 100% you should become what? A civil person or a civil member. So, we have to confirm answer is Biga this Kodam Jarigindila. Okay, now. So, like this, we have confirmed how many paragraphs? Seven paragraphs we have confirmed. All right. We continue with the remaining ones. Thank you.